front like I have on this dress, it kind of gives liposuction. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today we're going to be doing a collective haul featuring some pieces that I got in between Black Friday when I went to Chicago and all that good stuff. So without further ado, I'm going let's to start, start with the fragrances and this is something that I've actually talked about in one of my vlogs but of course not everyone watches the vlogs. So this is the Alien Goddess by Mugler and this smells so good, so so good. So I do have the replica of the Alien, just the Alien, regular Alien, right? But I had to pick this up. This is so, so good. I feel like this is more on the sweeter side compared to the regular Alien Mugler. This has notes of bergamot. It has vanilla. It has coconut water. So I just have so many things in my collection already that I can um, layer this with. I am so, so excited to use this. I've actually used it before, maybe like once or twice. And I've tried layering it with... Um, the Supreme Vanilla from Zara Chef's Kiss. I am loving this so far. This was just, I think this was a one ounce because I was trying it out, but I do not regret this at all. If you're interested, of course, you can always start with the travel sized or just go into your local Ulta or Sephora and try sniffing it first. Then next, um, I do have some candles. So Bath & Body had their... $10 candle sale which is something that I always wait for every year. I always stock up on my candles this time of the year because it's like the cheapest um, of the season. So I got about 10. Some were my favorites you know like the usual favorites and others I was trying for the first time. So this one I have here Frosted Cranberry. This smells amazing. I believe I've tried this before. Now, Into the Night was something that I was trying for the first time. In the candle form, at least. I've smelled the fragrance mist, and that too smells great. I think my younger sister actually loved this to death. It's either Into the Night or In the Stars. I think she's obsessed with one of those. Um, I also got the Rose Water and Ivy. This is already a usual favorite. I have the plug-in in my bathroom right now and the scent is just so mellow. It's not doing too much but you can still smell it so I love that. I also got Tis the Season because you know it's the holiday season. I love 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 this as well. I have the plug-in in the living room and it smells amazing all of the time. Now this one is strong but in a good way. Next I have In The Stars. This one too is new for me um, in the candle format but I've, I've smelled the fragrance. And then I have Champagne Toast. This one too smells so good. The soap I have right now and I'm using. It's such a pretty scent. This one is thankful. This one is such a fall scent. It kind of reminds me of the Harvest Gathering at Bath & Body. I even forgot to show you the notes. Sometimes they have it on here, but now I don't even see it. Oh, this one has fresh picked apple, autumn berries, clove buds, and natural essential oils. But of course, whenever you get on the Bath & Body website, you can get the, um, the notes. And then this one too is a long time favorite which is the black cherry merlot oh my god this smells so so amazing so i'm just so excited for these some of them i purchased in doubles because i love them so much but i just had to show you these so i'm done with the smell goods now we're gonna jump into the fashion segment let's start with the accessories i kind of went a little crazy <laughs> with these um so i'm gonna start with the simplest thing which is just this stockings 
these were from Shein. I wanted this for a video that I wanted to uh, create. So it's just a regular one, but it was the rhinestones on it that drew me in. I have no idea if this fits or not. I haven't tried it, but hopefully it will because I know this will come in handy for the content that I want to create. Next up, I had to get my hands on the, you know, the Fotegas, the fake Bottegas that everyone is replicating. So I got this one from Shein. Maybe I'll just show it on the side, but this time around I got it in silver because I don't have it. I just have the gold from Amazon. Now this one even comes with a necklace. I didn't even know that. The one from Shein comes with a necklace. You see that? It comes with the chain and all that. Please excuse the noise from outside. But this is it, um, just the regular drop earrings and they look so pretty. I have on um, big earrings right now, but like I said, I would show you on the side. So if you want this on the low low, get on Shein y'all, get on Shein right now. Because if you go to Amazon True, you're going to get it in like two days, but you're going to pay more money. So if you don't mind the Shein one, I'm going to tell you, go for it go for it so I also got a purse from Shein as well it's this gold one I know it looks really bright but it's reflecting the light from my studio lights of course but it's like a pouch and it also has the straps I don't think I would use the straps per se but it's there for anyone who wants to use it and it's got some decent amount of space in here I can put my my keys, my card holder, and stuff like that. It's really pretty. I don't know if this is the color that um, most would go for. It's it's a bold gold, <laughs> but I like this because it matches perfectly with one of the gold heels I have here. So I love this. And actually, I have another one from Zara. Um, so the she in order <laughs> was put in before the Zara one. So I didn't know that I would end up getting this Zara purse again. Yeah, another gold one. But this is something that I've always been looking at on the Zara website. And my sister got it. Oh, it's so pretty. They got, they have it in silver as well. So this is just it. I'm trying not to blind you guys, but it's got some crisscross details over there. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I think these two kind of look alike in terms of the color, like how bright it is. Pretty. This one's also a crossbody bag. And if I were to compare it to the Shein one, this one probably has less space, but I don't really mind. I think you can put in your essentials has a strap so you can use it as a crossbody. I think I would prefer wearing it as a clutch like this. Hopefully I'd be able to hold it like that but how pretty is this? I love this. This was on sale by the way. Um, Zara had a Black Friday sale so I had to get my hands on some of these items. Next up I have a black purse and this is from Fashion Nova. Let me tell you, this is one of the most impractical bags I've ever owned. But who cares? We just want to look cute. And this is definitely cute. It's given statement. It's given eleganza. Okay? Yeah, it's so pretty. So it just has this bow. And then it's got rhinestones along the handle. Of course, you can't fit a lot in here. You'd be lucky to put your card holder in this. And I think the rigidness of the bag just makes it a tad bit um, difficult to open the zip, like the zipper. It's a bit hard, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. This is such a statement, and I absolutely cannot wait to style this. I do have a styling video coming up, so stay tuned for that. 
Moving into the clothing items, I do have a pair of sneakers. This I got from Primark when I went to Chicago with my friends. When I tell you, I forgot to record that moment, but we spent so much time at Primark because we, we were so excited. We don't have a Primark here in Champaign, so we, we, we almost went crazy in there. There was this shoe that was similar to this. It was in this beautiful baby blue and white pattern. Oh, it was so pretty, but I could not find my size. Unfortunately, I think it was fat too and the others that got it. Ah, oh, still so jealous. <laughs> but I ended up getting this and it's just so pretty. I haven't worn this yet, but I'm hoping it is comfortable. It's just a regular shoe that I can use to accessorize my casual outfits with. So I can't wait to wear this. I think I had to size up in this. I got, wait a minute, a US 9? Oh my God, wait a minute, I need to wear this right now. But I know I tried it in stores. Did I get the same size as? Okay, US 9? I do not wear a US 9. This is ghetto, y'all. This is a ghetto try on haul yeah it does fit oh it looks so good i wish i could <laughs> i wish i could put my my feet up but that would be so freaking ghetto yeah it does fit but i wonder why i got this i'm usually a size seven but i'm thinking that maybe i got an eight but it was still too small yeah this is it i'll try to wear it on the side and just show you or maybe you can just you know get the picture because it's, it's just it's just sneakers i can't talk yeah moving on moving on guys i have something from skims i finally tried skims when they had their black friday sale and i actually just got their Core control high waist thong and the size medium and this is the shade bronze I can try to open this right now just wait a second so this is the shade it's a very nice nude against my skin if I'm not mistaken I think there's a shade darker than this but I got this so it's just a regular thong really and it's got some nice uh, core control right here and what i like is that it came with straps it looked like bra straps that i still need to figure out how to use it but you just connect it to this and maybe to your bra i don't know i need to figure that out let me tell you something this was so so hard to get on it was so hard i almost doubted that it would fit but it did but it was so hard like i was so ashy <laughs> my legs were so ashy by the time i was done because of the friction i'm just trying to get it up there but let me tell you it was doing some snatching things girl it was snatching me up i'm gonna have to show you this on the side i'm so excited but yeah it's nice one thing though it does slip down you know this part it does slip down you know around the rolls and all that but this is where the straps would come in handy i believe so like i said i'm going to try to figure out how to connect this to maybe my bra so that it won't slip down i had to jump in quickly to give you all the tea now with the skims thong in front like i have on this dress it kind of gives liposuction this part of my body looks very smooth but it does accentuate your um i don't know like the fat around this side of the body i don't know how i like that honestly see that plus um it makes my back rolls <laughs> more visible and i honestly don't like that right now i have it paired with my spanx shorts which is why from the back let me try to do this so you can see better so i have it paired with the spanx which is why it's low-key giving <laughs> bbl but that was the only way i could um make it look a bit appealing but here you see that i don't know it's it's low-key saying girl you need to reduce your body fat but this is what it looks like from the back 
I don't know. I <laughs> I don't quite like it, but in front it looks so flattering. It was a bit worse when I had the thong on on its own. But yeah, yo, I just had to let you know in case you were interested in this. But besides that, well, these two paired together, hmm, it's kind of cute, kind of not. <laughs> so just buy it at your own risk. So next up, I have a set from Zara. This too was from the Black Friday sales. You know how popular the vest and pant sets are. This year, they've been really popular, so I had to grab one of them so it's just like that just a regular vest but the material is a bit different y'all yeah, see it's like a waffle knit it's cotton for sure so that's what it looks like it's got the buttons i got it in a size medium but i wish i got it in small because the sides are way too big so i'm gonna have to get that taken in and the pants are that loose um, pin type of vibe it's not too tight I got it in a small and it's got the drawstring string details that's just what it looks like one thing is for certain though this is a bit see-through so if you're wearing this you definitely would have to have some sort of shorts underneath but I can't wait to wear this I can't wear this right now but come spring and summer you guys would definitely see me in this Next up, I have a skirt from Zara. You must have seen how the pleated skirts have come back in trend. I honestly did not want to get on this trend because it just reminded me of my high school uniform. And you know, this one had to be brown too. If you went to GMA, GMA in Gambia, you know what I'm talking about. This is giving GMA right now. But... What a sexy twist, you know? <laughs> Not saying. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's got the belt and the pleats at the bottom, like that. It's got the zipper too. I actually have a video for you guys that's coming up. I'm going to style this in different ways. So I hope you stay tuned for that. This one, let me check the size before I forget. I got it in a size medium and it fits perfectly. It, I don't think it's too short or too long it's just the perfect size on me and then last but not the least yeah i have a jogger set from primark again and it's just in this beautiful shade of pink it's so so pretty i love this to death you know i don't think i can go much into details because it's just joggers and a hoodie now i did like when I came back home from my Chicago trip, I I did my laundry immediately. So I forgot that the tag was on. So this is what it ended up doing to my um my joggers. This thing won't come off. It won't come off. If you know how I could possibly remove this, please let me know. I did do some research and it says that robbing alcohol can take this out i'm still on the hunt for that but yeah if you know what could take this off please let me know so yeah that is just it the colors are not not exactly the same i realized that after the fact but i don't really mind because i'm mostly going to be wearing this indoors if you watch until this point thank you so much for watching that is all i had for you today let me know in the comments which of the items you would consider buying or which one you like the most and i'd be happy to talk to you guys in the comments until i come your way next time bye y'all